Here we have 12 black dots. If I color one of the dots blue, then I've colored 1 twelfth of the dots. If I color two of the dots blue, then I've colored 2 twelfths. But if you look closely, there are six pairs of dots, and I've colored one out of those six pairs blue, so I've colored one-sixth of the dots. That means that two twelfths can be reduced or simplified and is equivalent to one-sixth. Let's say I color three out of the twelve dots blue. That means I've colored three twelfths of the dots blue. If you look closely, you can see that there are four groups of three in twelve, and I've colored one of them, so I've colored one-fourth of the dots. This shows you that three-twelfths is equivalent to one-fourth. This time, let's color four of the dots blue. That would be four-twelfths, or four out of twelve. If you look closely, you can see that there are three groups of four in twelve, and I've colored one of those groups, so I've colored one out of three, or one-third of the dots. This shows you that four-twelfths is equivalent to one-third. This time, let's color five of the dots. That means that I've colored five out of twelve of the dots. I've circled one group of five. Five goes into twelve a little bit more than two times. Here you can see that we have two dots out of five dots left over. So this starts to get more complicated. It's not making it simpler, so it's not simplified. Since 5 doesn't go into 12 evenly, we just call it 5 twelfths. For the next one, let's color 6 of the 12 dots blue. That means we've colored 6 twelfths of the dots blue. Since 6 goes into 12 two times, there's two groups of 6. I colored 1 out of the 2 groups blue, or 1 half. Here you can see that 6 twelfths is equivalent to 1 half. For the next one, Let's color seven of the dots blue. So that's seven twelfths of the dots. Just like five, seven doesn't go into twelve evenly. So it too would get more complicated. So there's no need to simplify. We just call this seven twelfths. For the next one, let's color eight of the dots. Look closely and you'll see that there are three groups of four in twelve. And I've colored in two of them. So I've colored two thirds of the dots. So 8 twelfths is equivalent to 2 thirds. Next, we'll color in 9 of the dots. So we've colored 9 twelfths of the dots. Since there are 4 groups of 3 in 12, and I colored 3 of those 4, I've colored 3 fourths of the dots. This shows you that 9 twelfths is equivalent to 3 fourths. For this one, we'll color in 10 of the dots. That would be 10 twelfths of the dots. But if we look carefully, you'll see that I colored in five of the six groups of two that are in 12. That means that I've colored in five-sixths of the dots. This shows you that ten-twelfths is equivalent to five-sixths. For this one, let's color in eleven of the twelve dots. This fraction is considered eleven-twelfths. No need to simplify it. Now let's color in all twelve of the twelve dots. That means I've colored in all 12 out of 12. I colored in the whole group. Since there's only one group, that's the same as one group out of one group, which equals 1, or 100% of the group.